Greetings, Earthlings. Um, Adventure Link here. I'm going to show you guys how to root your Galaxy Note 3 in my part 3 of my Note 3 series. As you can see, there is the Super Sue app, which is one of many root apps that you can get on an Android. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to root it. If you're familiar with the Odin method, which is what we use to um, root the Samsung Galaxy S4, this should be a fairly similar process. Don't forget that the pre and don't forget that just a fair warning and to get this off the bat right now. I'm not responsible for any the modification or, or anything that goes wrong with your device like successful roots, unsuccessful roots, soft bricks, hard bricks, your phone exploding, your boss mad at you over the alarm map being busted be and you was late to work, thermonuclear war, whatever. You perform this at your own risk. Um, what you want to do first is make sure you have all the stuff on your computer. The latest version of Odin. The latest version of Samsung Kai's Keys. However you pronounce that. A recovery of your choice. I personally use TWRP this time around. The Super Sue app, which you can have it if you want or you don't have to have it. It's up to you here, really. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is pull the back off of your phone. So I've already showed you how to do that earlier in another video. Next thing you want to do is power off the device. Next thing you want to do is enter the download mode. You push and hold in the volume down button. Then you push in the home button. Then you push in the power button. Let it do its thing. There we go. Now of course you get the disclaimer. Warning a custom OS can cause critical problems to phone and installed applications. Blah blah blah. Next thing you want to do is push the volume up button. And we are in Odin mode. Now just a fair warning and to get this off the bat too, as you can see there is a um, Knox Warranty Void 0x1. What this means is in the Knox security system, there that's how the warranty void flag is handled. If this is set at 0x1, your warranty is now void. Currently there is no way to reset it, so proceed from here at your own risk. Right now. On your device, it should be 0x0, so if you want to back out now, pull the battery out. Next thing you want to do is connect the USB cord into your device. Then connect it into the computer. Next thing you want to do is start up Odin. If you're on Windows 7, you'll get that funky little disclaimer. Of course, say yes. And it should detect your phone. Um, you want to uncheck auto reboot. I would personally just uncheck auto reboot and then hit F reset time. Then go down to PDA. And from here, scroll down to your recovery. This here, Open Recovery, TWRP 2.6.3.0, HLT, EMT Mo. This is TWRP for the Node 3 on T-Mobile, just as a heads up at the time of this filming. TWRP only has the T-Mobile custom recovery that you're, there is no AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, etc. version so for now if you are on any of those other networks you will have to use Clockwork Mod. Of course you can use Clockwork Mod if you wish but I personally prefer TWRP this go around so we're gonna hit open. Of course I put the Note 3 there as a notation to let me know that it's the Note 3 custom recovery. 
Then with Odin looking like this, you want to go down to hit start. Then let the Odin do its thing. Ta-da! And 8 seconds flat, we now have TWRP or Clockwork Mod Recovery. Woohoo! And the next thing you want to do is disconnect your device from your computer and then pull the battery keep it out for a few seconds then put the battery back in now we're gonna do the little button combination again only this time we're going to enter recovery. What you're going to do first is hold in the volume up button. Then the home button. Then the power button, which is right there. Let it do its thing. Recovery booting. And we are in team win recovery. Um, from here... You would want to go to um, install, um, pick your storage, you'll have some options for storage like your internal storage or micro SD card, either way you will want to touch navigate, crud, that's the only drawback because it's too sensitive but in any case you want to go to install, pick your storage like if you put the super su or super user on your internal storage or external storage. Then you want to use this and browse to wherever you put the file on. Alternatively, you could go down to where it says, not advanced, but go down to reboot and try and attempt to get a recovery. The nice thing about TWRP is that it'll detect that the system hasn't been rooted. And then it'll ask you if you want to install SuperSU. What you do is that you, there'll be a swipe, you swipe it, It'll install the SuperSU binary. Then from there, <clears throat> you click on the SuperSU installer. Let it reboot back into TWRP. Um, then from there, it'll run the script, reboot the system back into Android. Then from there, you will now have SuperSU on your Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and TWRP custom recovery or Clockwork Mod custom recovery. And that's it, you're all done. You just rooted it and voided your warranty on your Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Anyways, I'm Adventure Link. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from this video and how to root your droid and some more security features about Samsung devices. Hope you found this video interesting and informative. And we're going to close this rooting off as always by quoting Eric the Car Guy, reminding you folks out there to be safe, have fun, and stay dirty. And when it's <clears throat> warm outside, you stay cool and stay hydrated. When it's cool outside, stay warm and bundle up if you have to. Eat right and stay healthy. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, praise, criticisms, etc., but no flames, fighting, or other such spam or bull crap. Hit me up in the comments section if you have any questions about the mobile device as a whole which covers iOS, Android OS, Windows Phone OS, and Research in Motion slash Blackberry OS. Then you hit up the XDA developer forums but just as a fair warning, their community there is bigger than my grand marquee so search before posting let alone making a nick most likely. Your question was answered and asked at least once if not several times so search before posting. It'll save you some trouble. And I'll see you all next time. Have a nice day.